So, you know what's the best thing if you're living in the mountainside and you're farming? You will never go grow hungry. Like the little kid was saying, I was saying that I want to buy some vegetables. And she said, there's no such thing as buying here. You just ask the neighbors and they will give it to you. You just ask them nicely, which makes me laugh. Which is true, because around this area, in the hills, in the mountains, um, people just mutual giving they give you a little bit of your you give them a little bit of what your crops are and they give you what's theirs as well what you're looking at here are motor bikers like trekking on the mountainside here in Pongol Sibugay so they're practicing their motorcycle riding look And so you can see the villagers there getting firewood, walking up on the hills. So I'll go closer so I'll have a proper look of three women bringing firewood. It's not so foggy like it is in Tabunan, but it's still very cold. The air is quite cool here even if it's so hot, it's summer season here in the Philippines right now. And this is a typical scene here women carrying firewood that they use in their place i bet you they've been walking for like several kilometers already because even coming here we have to walk like a kilometer and a half from where we left the multi cap and this is sitio obhai So that's the typical province life and that's the farm of Noiwili, the one that lived with me that I will be building a small house soon as well within the year because I will be platinum my, my mountain across me and he is the one that been living on my land for so long for free and I just tell that when it's ready to be flattened, I'll just give him an extension to where the Loish house is. Then in concrete, of course. Then everybody's happy. But this is his actual place here in the mountains of Cebu City. And the most famous for mountain trekking with your motorcycles. Sometimes they said a lot of foreigners, young people come here and set up camps here to spend overnight and go down on the valleys or between the foot of the hills and swim on the river. So we're entering Noiwili's ginger farm guided by her, by his rather by his three-year-old grandchild hinahinay lang nga kay si mami kay dili man paspas mo lakaw so what they do usually they just go further and further the hills and then when they used to settle up here in the old times and then claim the land and then most of them are not up for titling because it's watershed and so that's how it started that a lot of lands hectares is owned by the farmers so this is the shed of Lagi? <laughs> Katawa pa siya, oh? The shed of Noiwili up here in the mountain. Hinahinay ako, hinahinay ako. Higihangak na imong lola. That! No. Sorry, mama. 
Lagi. Agui, agui. So this is the shed that they have for the watching the farm that they have here. Look at you, how good you're. Ma uba? Oh, so he got another shed on another farm. This is just the ginger farm. Ano sa di? Ang gitanom ni mo dito? Mais? Loyal na na harvest naman yung mo nang akong tanim mo sa dako. Ah, he just concentrate on ginger. Just another ginger. Lagi ginger. Lagi kag Barbie. Lagi. There's still another ginger farm. Ah, si Barbie. Because she said she got loads of Barbie. She said she. I just showered them. Okay, bagong ligo. So it's all just ginger he's been planting. He's concentrating on ginger because that's his specialty. So there's a big farm that he just finished over there. There's another shed that he got. And this one, they just planted this for two weeks now. Just clearing out the land first. And so his son and his wife is here watching the farm. And the grandchild comes here once in a while. Because the pro water is not a problem here. Because the foot of the hills is surrounded with rivers. So they just put a hose up or build their own deeper deep well. Make it deeper so they can hose it up better. We will be picking up this lemon, lemoncitos or tiny lemons, native lemons, for our refreshments. Because here in the mountain, there is no soft drinks. So we're just looking around. There's a guyabano tree there for dessert. And then the refreshment will be the lemons. So this is how it is in a farm far away here here in Pungol Sibugay Sibuta ka na ay Lagi Ah go on we can't reach that we just need a net There's another goyabano tree for dessert there's a goyabano fruit. Oh. Ang hapit na ni Mahinog. Yilu-yilu naman. Ikaw. Mukhang ko na kudaku kung kaayo. Lagi. Dalon tu nene green. Aku ane sih yellow. So that's another one for dessert. So it will be enough for our group. And around here we're passing through sweet potato fields. So that's what the cooking area. We just finished our farm picnic here in Pungol Sibugay. So we're here on the little shed of the farm that we visited. And one of their chicken was what they called had an accident go to the pot. <laughs> so we had a chicken fresh from one of their pet chickens here like that. So we have some sweet potato, lemon, and then some guyabano fruits. That is the life here in the farms. They just give you a bit of their crops. And like I said, this is the view from here. That's the ginger farm of Noiwili. And this is the shed where we held our picnic. Pagtarong 
So this is the Sibugay, Pungol Sibugay place that we visited instead of the Mount Manongal. It's mostly farms, but those who like climbing on mountains around Cebu City, this is one of the best place to visit. Because if you're into the camping trip, they said that they usually have people there camping on those flat hills there and they can get the water on the foot of the hill and they can go continue here and go to another hill we'll be going next to Lusaran Lusaran is where the former runway of the Japanese camp that is where it's located so we're on our way back here from Pungol Sibugay. This is the other side. So you can see there's a lot of farms around here. It's just very far from where the main road is. But this is not as steep as Tabunan. So you can see there's no fog. It's just mountain, but it's gradual slope going up. So it's not so bad. So we're nearly there where we parked the multi-cab. And that is the only problem about the farms around here is the access road. So they need to carry their crops towards this road, which for me becomes uneconomical as of the moment because you also have to carry your supplies the fertilizers and when you visit there this is like over a kilometer walk just to go to your farm because it's not yet cemented this is the only road pathway in which only a motorbike can go through and we just parked the multi-cab up there so it will be easier to go back to another place where we have to go.